All right, everyone, here we go. This is the thank you reading for February 2023. It's a fast moving year. It is. It may not seem it in the moment, but it is underneath the surface. This year's the fast energy. It really is. Anyway, I got a pre shuffle for you. This reading's for you. So, thank you, reading, for anybody who's seen fit to give me a nickel for anything I do around here. I appreciate it. I do. I do these every month. These are very powerful readings. I pull on my viewers. Doesn't matter if you're DF, DM, AM, FM, doesn't matter. All right, here we go. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, you found Steve's Love Tarot. You're here for a reason. This reading is timeless, and, it, and they all show up in the timeless playlist. So whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. So very fitting pre-shuffle. I said, tell me about my viewers. What do you want to tell them? What do you want to tell these donors and uh, extended buyers and subscribers? Huh? Well, here's what the universe had to say. All right. I'm, I'm just going to show you the cards real quick. It's the Seven of Wands crossed by the Five of Wands with a Wheel of Fortune crossed by the Six of Swords and a star at the base. A star book ending. Thank God it's not a naked star, right? And a star bookending the uh, uh, Seven of Wands. And the draw pants on all of my naked cards. Why? Because energy is changing. This is about change right here. And it's in, right here at the top of the pre-shuffle, just in the surface energy. Five of Wands crossing the Seven of Wands. Resistance is futile. This is a six-ton wheel. Once it, It's a juggernaut. Once it gets rolling, you can't stop it. And when it stops, you can't move it. The energy is changing. The rubber already hit the road on that when Uranus went direct. And I pulled on that. But now, once the rubber hits the road, you start to pick up speed. And that's what's happening here. This reading is covering about the time frame of February. Okay? So it is the February 2023. Thank you, reading. This is a lot of changes happening. Changes all over the place. You could spot them if you look. Maybe changes in your attitude, sure, but the, the environmental energy is changing. The weather energy is changing. All kinds of things. I see it here in my neighborhood. Things are changing. People are moving that have been here a long time. Businesses are moving out. The signs are completely different. Trees are missing. I don't know what happened just over the last couple of days. Two trees are now missing. I don't know where the fuck they went. I didn't hear any chainsaws. They may, maybe they just disappeared. I doubt it. I probably just didn't hear the chainsaws. But either way. Things are changing. Things are changing here on YouTube. Wrote a whole blog article about it called BoobTube. Go check it out. I got all over the place. Steve Love Tarot being made uh, 18 plus. Age restrictions, things like that. Over nonsense. Over nonsense. My wife had to draw a little black dress on, on Naked Girl on the star card on, in the Witch's Tarot. I mean, come on. Uh, it, it, or, or, no, I think she got hot pants. She got hot pants. But anyway, either way. You can't stop this wheel. The changes are happening. So resistance is futile. We have to adapt when energy changes. Um, it's changing for the better, actually. In most cases, as far as you go, it's your environmental energy around you. The star here, long-held manifestations, things that have been delayed are no longer delayed. And that's in no small part because of the North Node activity here at the beginning of uh, February, which I'll be pulling on probably tomorrow. Okay, probably, yeah, I would say tomorrow. Um, I want to get a feel, I want to let it set in because there's a lot of planetary interactions. Venus, Saturn, Neptune, Jupiter, all getting in on the game, uh, on that Destiny game. But either way, you've got to roll with it. We've got a lot of changes happening here. Let's go, let's shuffle the deck for you. Let's see what the universe has to say. So that's the, yeah, we can call it the environmental energy. We can call it the surface energy there on the pre-shuffle. It's talking about the change. And trying to fight it is ridiculous. You don't do that. That's where people go wrong with energy. They, they fight against the current. Just roll with it. You know, it, it, it's, it's important to do that. It's important to, to adapt. Always keep redefining who you are and where you're going. Okay? Too much rigidity and you end up unhappy. All right? You can't be rigid. I always tell you, you got to be like water. It takes the shape of whatever it's poured into. Always be like water. Just try to stay as neutral as you can, and everything is fine. It doesn't mean you have to like all, all of the changes, but, you know, like we say here in the States, you can't fight City Hall. You can't. If they give you a parking ticket, and, and you, yeah, you can contest it, 
You can. But nine times out of ten, they won't release you from the ticket. What, is, it because, is it because you're wrong? No. It's because they're wrong. And if they admit they're wrong, which people don't like to do, uh, then it, it puts the entire law in question. Then it calls in a whole bunch of other people that come in with silly nonsense and all of that. So it is what it is. It's just like I contested that uh, Sagittarius February reading being 18 plus. I put in and asked for a review. They came back and said, we, we, we leave, we're, we're leaving at 18 plus. You got two naked people on that lover's card there. Oh my God. Seriously? Unreal. All right. I'm shuffling for you here. What do you want to tell my viewers, Universe? Let's do it. Bottom of the deck. Crossing the uh, center card I'm going to pull is five cups. Wow. That's very, it's a sad horse. It's regret, sadness. I don't know. It could be an energy attached to you. I have no idea. What is this? Queen of Swords. Ah. Uh, it's a little bit of an energy. With the Queen of Swords here, it's a cold, hard truth and things like that. Um, part of the energy that's changing around you might make you see things that upset you in a, do, in, in a new light. It's possible. I mean, it's just the environmental energy we don't know yet. It's crossing the center card. But that's my riff on that energy, the way it feels to me. It feels like, ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we can get sad when we realize that we, we were stupid to sit in something for a long time when we could have dealt with it and then moved on. I don't know. We'll see. Let's go. Three cards. Here we go. Magician. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Wow. That's powerful. Ah, uh, that's change right there. That's transformation. But it's it's kind of almost reads like a fool in a way. It, it is the rubber hitting the road, right? You know, it, it kind of is. It comes right after the fool in the major arcana. The fool's spinning his wheels. That's where the rubber hasn't hit the road, right? Uh, so the rubber hits the road at the magician getting all the tools, getting off we go. Well, we're off to see the wizard, or in this case, the high priestess. But anyway, what's on top here? What's on top? Ah. Uh, Knight of Cups, yeah. Something is that wheel of fortune from the uh, pre-shuffle. That six-ton wheel that you can't stop. And once it stops, you can't move it. It's bringing you something. It's bringing you something that's going to show you the truth. Exactly how I riffed on this energy. This Queen of Swords is about cold, hard truth, right? It's cutting things out that don't suit you, for example. Cutting this out. It's about getting rid of this. Whatever this is, whatever regrets you have, whatever. Something's coming in that's going to make it all right. It sets you on a whole new journey. And it's something that's uh, related to the star card in the uh, pre-shuffle. In other words, it might be something you manifested, but it's probably destiny related. It's something that's meant for you. It's something very, well, the kids like to say, very karmic sort of a thing like that. Okay? It's beautiful energy. It really is. What's, what's red with the magician? So that's the base energy. We talked about it. What's red with the magician here? nine wands again this nines uh, i'm drawn to the number nine in in part nines are the end in tarot it's the end Look, this wall is all grown in it's crappy right it's shit it's a complete horrible wall um it hasn't been maintained well again it's that energy of resistance is futile everybody it's human nature everybody resists change we don't like it right we don't like it and and the problem with the change right now is, is a lot of it is going to feel weird. It's going to feel different. And, and, that's, and that's tricky to deal with. That can be. It can cause you to want to hide. It can cause you whatever. It could cause you to want to put up a wall to it and just not deal with it. You can not deal with it all you want. The change is happening, whether you like it or not. Let's clarify some things here. Let's see where we go. Who do I want? I want the witches. All right. Randomly at the bottom is the Ace of Wands. That's beautiful. Wow. Let's, let's talk about this Knight of Cups. All right. Let's see where we go here. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Maybe one of the new pants, pants wearing naked cards will come out. Huh? I don't know. We'll see. Well, let's just hope this video don't get made 18 plus. I don't know why it would. I don't know why any of them would. But, you know, hey, you can't fight an algorithm. I'll tell you. But it's really weird when a human being also backs up the algorithm. That's really strange. I, I talked about that in that blog article. Like, what the hell? What kind of robots we got going on over here? All right, Knight of Cups. Let's see. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Something coming towards you that changes everything. It's a game changer. Oh, it is. All right. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. What is this? I mean, this could be your runner. I don't think it is. All that fucking shuffling. 
and I got the uh, Ace of Wands right here, crossing the Knight of Cups. Yeah, so it's a, it's a, it it. Well, I mean, I can take this literally. I could take this energy literally because I talk about this being a match. You know, like trying to light a cigarette in a hurricane keeps blowing out. This one's staying lit. Something puts a fire in your belly. Something comes towards you. Something here changes. Um, I believe it's a soulmate. Um, I, I am picking up on that. Let's let's take a look. Yeah, it's the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're being approached by someone or some sort of opportunity that's on your destiny, on your path of destiny. Okay. Again, the rubbers hit the road here. This is nice. This is nice energy. What's on top? Justice. I mean, it don't get no better than that. I mean, something here. Again, this just this this energy alone backs up the original cards that we're crossing here. Right, that sad horse getting made okay. Truth, I'll tell you something, and, and, and it's, you know, it is what it is. Truth is always healing. It's not always easy to hear. That's why people like to look away from it. It's easier to believe lies because they're junk food, right? Truth is always healing, real honest truth. It, it doesn't always hit you real good, right? But it's always healing. And that's what I get here. I get a very balanced energy. This energy coming towards you, this Knight of Cups, which is probably a soulmate energy. Because this is Steve's love tarot, not Steve's career tarot. There's a lot of destiny playing out here in February. Um, this energy, whatever it is, whoever it is that comes towards you, fixes everything. Now, if it's your runner, which for some of you it could be, you learn a truth about it and it makes you feel better. I can put it as simply as that. All right. This is a nice Ace of Wands here. I tend to think this is something new. Center card read with the Ace of Wands. Ooh, healing. Four of Swords. Yeah, healing. It's just, it makes everything okay. Whatever this Knight of Cups is, it makes everything okay. Um, again, I think it's a soulmate. I do. I do. It's something. You've got, you've got a soul contract with. I think you've got multiple soul contracts. I don't get this as the runner, as your original runner. I get this as something new. And because the star that was up in the pre-shuffle, the star delays things, okay, till you're ready, right? You got to be on uh, like energy attracts attracts like energy. You got to be the right person when the right person shows up, all that kind of stuff. It is like that. There's something very magic. We'll, we'll get on that. What's, what's red with justice? Yeah, the five of pentacles. Again, it's just a repeating message. This knight of cups makes everything okay. It makes something make sense to you. It's a game-changing energy that comes in and changes your whole view on the life, tearing the wall down, able to move forward. It's all, it's just a repeating message over and over. Repeating messages are important. It shows you how strong the energy is, okay? A weak energy won't, won't it can't repeat very often, right? Think about uh, skipping a rock on, on water. You know, you chuck a flat rock and it skips across the water. The harder you throw it, the more it's going to skip. Right. So uh, again, the things things with a stronger energy will repeat more. It's a great analogy for it, because if you throw it like a little wuss, it's not going to do anything. It's just going to plunk in the water. You know. And so that that being said, let's pull on this magician here. A lot of karma here. Wow, some serious energy. What's going on with the magician? Let's see. Tell me about the magician. All right. Let's see. All right, here we go. Oh, God. Yeah, what was I just saying? This is something very powerful. It's meant for you. I'll get all spiritual with you. It's meant for you. It is. It's the Hierophant crossing the Magician. Wow. And I talked earlier, I said I was talking about the journey through the, uh, uh, the, the, the tarot, the major, you know, the fool's journey and all that kind of stuff. The next stop after the Magician is the High Priestess. But this is... This is beyond that. This is this is very this is very powerful. Very powerful energy. This is a very spiritual connection. This is a deep soul connection. This is a twin flame. Perhaps some of you, and I know people don't like it when I say this, some of you got this runner wrong, and I always pick this up. This energy is here, and you learn that and you were all this time you, you you might feel silly somewhere in here that you were worried about this runner and all sad and stuff like that but really that runner was just a catalyst for your growth and the real twin flame the real deep 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 soul connection shows up and you learn that there's some kind of truth here when this energy shows up that makes everything okay justice brings you out from 
the cold, all that kind of stuff. It's because this is powerful. The magician crossed by the Hierophant is some powerful shit. What's on top? Ten Swords. Wow. It shows up when you think. This is really strange. This could explain the Five of Cups, the Sad Horse too. It shows up when you think nothing's going to happen. It shows up when in the quiet, when everything is dead, crickets are chirping, right? And that's when it happens. It happens rather suddenly. Center card, red with the Hierophant, the Empress, my God. Uh, you are calling this in, in this energy. If you resist this energy of change, just be like water. If you resist it, you will slow it down or you will block it. I, I'm getting more and more off that Nine of Wands now. I get it. Um, you are calling this in. This is this is a divine. This is a nice couple, you know. The the empress and the high priestess. This is a very spiritual. I said it's very spiritual. It's a very spiritual connection with someone. I think for most of you, it's someone brand new that you you're gonna that's gonna come in under this new energy. Because I think it shows up rather suddenly. It shows up in a, in a down moment for you. All right, a down moment. Five of cups, sad horse, ten swords. Everything's over. Just in a moment of despair. Everything gets made okay. What's red with the Ten Swords? You want proof? You want proof? Liberation. The Nine of Pentacles. Liberation from the Ten Swords. See? I read the energy first, then I pull the cards. That's, that's, that's beautiful. This is beautiful, what's happening here. The changes on the surface may not seem great, but they actually are. They actually are pretty awesome. Uh, this, is, this is an approaching energy, a very powerful soulmate that, you know, again, I think you learn, at the very least, you learn something about yourself, your situation, you learn what all this was for, kind of a thing. Again, the rubber has hit the road. These changes are coming fast, which is why I encourage you, again, be like water. It takes the shape of whatever it's poured into. Try to stay as neutral as you can. You don't have to get in this Ten Swords and Five of Cups for this energy to show up. It just happens, it, it appears it shows up under that energy or it could just be saying again it liberates you from a feeling of loss okay or any feelings of guilt you might have about something so that'll help you tie it to whatever it is okay nine wands let's see let's go why is the nine of wands here tell me about it we've already talked about it a bit but let's see again you show up as the empress i pull on my viewers most of you are the dfs anyway even if you're not you're the DM in your relationship, whatever. Your Empress energy is high. That, that makes you very attractive. Okay? But you're calling this in. The universe is, this energy is right. Sort of a divine timing thing where the energy is right for this energy to approach. It does, it is a game changer. It does change things. With justice here, that's justice for you. That's happiness. It's balanced energy. And that's happiness in the 3D. Why is the Nine of Wands here? I suspect this is... I, I hope this isn't a lecture. I don't want to give a lecture this morning. Come on, it's too early. It is. It is. It's way too early. It is. Yeah, and I'm not... It's, it's the Ten of Cups. Um, the problem with being in the sad horse energy, okay, or feeling ten swords, whatever it is, um, is that it can make you put this wall up. It can make you a doubter a little bit. What's coming towards you is the real deal ten cups okay it ha it's it's beautiful it is good but you might doubt it all right and i have to point that out you might i it's the same way a person who suffers from depression when they're when they hit a dip when it's down low they they just lock themselves away they hate everything you could show up to that person with a bag of money and they still wouldn't smile if they're in a dip in their depression they you know take it away i don't want it you know that kind of thing careful about that all right I think you're watching this reading for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. You're watching this reading so that when you, if, if you do feel a dip, if you feel like nothing's happening or you're, you're having some doubts or whatever, whatever it is, um, I think maybe you'll, you'll, it'll be less. You'll, you'll cut that out a little bit. You'll remember what I said here. This is very good energy, 10, ten cups, but you might put a wall up to it. Or for some of you, because there's a lot of you watching, for some of you there's been a wall up. Uh, to it, okay? And that wall is coming to an end, which is what allows it to flow in. So take it how it resonates, like the kids like to say. What's on top? Six of Pentacles. Wow. Yeah, again, you might be resistant to giving to it. You might. It's just, it's just backing up my energy read 
off of the Ten of Cups crossing the Nine of Wands. Uh, what's the center card read with the Ten of Cups? Seven of Pentacles. The time, it is divine timing. It, it, that's what this energy is right here off, that's reflecting off this Seven of Pentacles. It is divine timing. But it, it's divine timing in the sense of how I usually phrase it, where it just means the energy is right for something to happen. This is minor arcana. It means you could fuck it up, okay, if you're too resistant to it. Try to, again, be like water, please. Now, I know the Ten of Cups could be a whole lot of fairyland. This might seem like it's too good to be true. Hell, this reading might seem like it's too good to be true. If you're someone watching this reading thinking this reading's too good to be true, you know, well, you're, you're in the very energy of the Nine of Wands that I'm talking about. So be careful. Check yourself, right? All right, what's, uh, what's red with the Six of Pentacles? It's coming in fast. Uh, Nine of Wands, divine timing, all of it. it again, it's, it, you, you, I said, it's divine timing, but it's major. It's minor arcana. You might fuck it up. You can screw this up by putting up a wall to it. All right, don't get. It's here to fix the five of cups and the ten of swords. Show you some truth. Bring you some healing. Take you in from out of the cold. Show you that there are still some good men or good women out there. For example, okay, honestly, but it'll go out as fast as it comes in. It's gonna whip right by you. You gotta pay attention. All right. It's, it's like flagging down an Uber who's going 60 miles an hour past you. Hey, it's, it's me. You know, if you miss it, you got to catch him while he's on the approach. Otherwise, it'll just blow right by you, right? Kind of a thing. A really bad Uber driver, right? Someone who's not paying attention, doesn't care. All right. That's, that's that. A friend of mine had one of those ones. Uh, underneath this, by the way, is the hermit fueling this Ten of Cups. It's real. This is real. The hermit is real. They only deal with real things. This is something very spiritual because this is bookending this and this had the hierophant crossing it and this has the hermit fueling a ten of cups. The hermit by default makes the ten of cups the real deal and there's, you want more proof, fine. Don't put up a wall here. There's the world that's talking about that new energy cycle. It's new energy. You're not going to get an energy approaching you that's like the runner. Okay, so don't assume that someone comes in and you feel that feel that way again. You feel that soul connection because you're the empress and you pick up on it. Don't react and go, oh, I'm not going through that runner shit again and put up a wall. Just be cool. Be like water. Let people show you who they are before you dismiss them. Okay, let situations show you what they hold before you dismiss them. Find out what you get rid of before you get rid of it. This energy is moving fast. This is a little bit of a speedometer here. It comes ripping in, changes everything. It can be a game changer, but you could miss it. All right, you could. Let's see what else. Any, anything else? Oh, look at this. Randomly at the bottom of the light seer is the world. The very card that I just showed you there, un, un, underneath there. All right. Um, let's see if there's anything else the universe wants to uh, tell you. We'll pull one card and a crossing card. And whatever else I think I need to pull. Let's see. Anything else you want to tell the viewers here? I love that you're still reflecting in Empress energy. I love that. You guys, that's, that's awesome. It is. And even if you're not sad horse or anything, there's something lingering. There's something deep down in. Okay? Way, way down. Something that this puts the final puzzle piece in for you. For a, for a few of you, for a good number of you, I should say, it's a lot of puzzle pieces. All right? These changes are good, but you've got to roll with changes when they happen. It, if you try to fight them, if you try to stop that six-ton wheel of fortune from spinning, it's, it's an exercise in futility. All right, let's go. There is a lot of change right now. I can't wait to pull that North Node reading. Oh, man, that's going to be cool. All right, and that full moon reading in Leo. That is, it, it, it's understandable why this came out the way it is. But you can see that things are changing around you if you pay attention, just in your world, you know. And if it's changing in one place... It's changing all over the place. Change is like cockroaches. If you see one in your kitchen, that's not the only one. That's just the scout that they sent out. You could bet there's 10,000 more somewhere in a cabinet. Okay? And so it, it's just like that. So if you see one area that's changing, wow, this is weird, this is different. Even if it's surface stuff, you can bet there's a lot more changing. Big, way behind the scenes and things like that. And we know there's a lot going on underneath and behind the scenes right now. Let's see where we go here. What else you want to tell the viewer, universe? I try to give you as much of the energy as I can without confusing people. There's a lot 
I mean, I could make each one of these readings seven hours with as much energy as, as is around. I mean, I would literally need a pee bucket under the, <laughs> under the table here just to get through it. You probably hear that come through on the mic. Someone would do a tweet. Steve peed at 11.11, you know, something like that. You guys are all big on the numerology, the timestamps and stuff like that on the video. That's funny. Give me a 11.11 P. Well, I got a 10 swords again at the bottom, so it's talking to that. Yeah. Uh, two is two of swords. I'll pull, I'll pull another one with that because it wants to come out in the seven of wands. Yeah. Uh, don't resist the change. There's the Ten of Swords again. And there's the Sun. Everything is actually changing for the better. Ten of Swords. It's, again, the Ten of Swords is technically crossing my Two of Swords here. I pulled the Seven of Wands as well just to verify my read or what my read will be on this. Which is, again, it's just an, the universe is begging you. It's absolutely begging you to be like water. All right? Don't, 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 swat, don't be like old Sarah Gilbert here swatting at the crows which are tied to her it's you can't you can't fight this change she can't fight these crows okay she they're tied to her though so the more she swats and the more whatever they're not going anywhere all right you it, it's talking about the energy this seven of wands ties directly to the seven of wands we opened with uh in the pre-shuffle all right there's a lot of change to it here just be like this girl right here right there see how zen she is see how peaceful do some meditating, do some law of pure potentiality, all the answers live in the silence, sit and spend 10 minutes a day in total silence, if you can, it, it, which most people can, even in a noisy place you can, alright, just shut the brain down a little bit, this card's talking to the same thing, although most of the energy coming off the four of swords is healing, alright, with a sun underneath the ten of swords, it pretty much backs up the whole reading from another deck, you know, so, it is what it is. That's your reading. Again, to anyone who's giving me a nickel for anything I do around here, thank you. And that's what this reading is for. I appreciate it. It's a powerful reading. And it's, I stand by the energy read here. It's pretty solid. All right? So that's your reading. Enjoy the change. Be like water. I hope this reading was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. Stay tuned for the North Node reading, which is up next. We're going to pull on some destiny and see where this rubber that's hit the road, where this road is taking us. All right? I'll take it as far as it'll let me. All right. That's your reading. Good luck and thanks.